it's doing a good job of cleaning. Hello everyone, that's just a dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Eufy X9 Pro robot vacuum cleaner. So we're going to talk a little bit about the base station and the robot, then we're actually going to watch it clean this floor. So up here, this is the clean water tank. You can put a little bit of Eufy clean solution in with that water, or just have clean water in there. And this is the dirty water tank. You are going to have to um, empty that out once in a while. It does clean the mopping pads down there automatically, and it also dries them when it's done. So we got some really muddy paw prints. We're gonna see how well it mops. Okay, so the first thing it's gonna do before it starts cleaning, it's gonna wash the mop pad because that's how it gets the mop pads wet. It's gonna put clean water down there and then it's gonna suck up the water and the, but the mop pads will be wet. That way they can mop this floor. And this process will take about two minutes. What you'll hear is the clean water going down there and then the dirty water being sucked up into the dirty water tank. Okay, so after it's done washing the mops, it's going to go start cleaning this room. It has to do that in order to get the mop pads wet. There is no internal tank inside it that will put water onto the mop pads while it's, mop, while it's mopping. And it can auto sense carpet and it can lift those mop pads up and down. It's got a little light on the back to let you know that the mop pads are spinning and down. And it is getting the floor nice and wet, but there is a timer built in that you can change in the app. But after 10 minutes, it will go back and re-wet the mop pads. Now it does have good obstacle avoidance. It is able to avoid that cable that's on the ground, but there it's gonna lift the mop pads when it senses carpet. I really do like the Eufy Clean app. It gives you an updated live view of where the robot is and where it is cleaned. And there's also the obstacle that it came across, that cable. It's doing a good job of cleaning. Yeah, it did a good job of mopping up those paw prints. Now the nice thing about it is if it's really dirty, you could have it do two passes. So it is gonna go back and forth and make those nice lines. Now the base unit does not auto empty the dustbin. You do have to empty out the dustbin yourself. It's very easy to do. Okay. And it's gonna auto lift those mop pads. And it does a good job on carpet and hardwood floors. Again, this was some pretty stubborn um, dog hair on that carpet, so you may want to have it do two passes, which you can do in the app. So again, that is some pretty stubborn mud. That would need two passes. Okay, so it's all done. Let's stop it. Task finished. Again, you've got to empty this out yourself. You're just simply going to open that up, take this over to the trash can, press that, press that button right there, and that door comes off. So you'll take this to the trash can, press that, and this door hinges open, and then you can dump everything out. Now, you don't have to do this every time. There is a reminder in the app that lets you know when it is time to empty this out. You can change that so, after so many cleanings or days. All right, let's put it back in. It's gonna go back to the base station. Again, here's what the base station looks like. It's gonna wash those mop pads. It doesn't self empty and it doesn't fill the robot up with water. It simply just gets the mop pads wet so that when it mops, they're wet. But washing the mop pads is automatic. And then it will dry them with hot air for two to four hours after it's done so that they don't have an odor. There it is washing the mop pads right now. Okay, so it's starting to dry the mop pads. We can, there's what the fan sounds like. 
Okay, let's take a close up look of the robot. Again, dustbin, LiDAR navigation, does have AI sensors on the front. Let's flip it over. Task finished. Let's flip it over. Again, there's the brush roller, side brush, drive wheels. Again, these once in a while you do have to take off and change them out or you may have to put them in the laundry. But these things do come off for cleaning also. This is just a wheel. This, it's got the edge sensors. Once in a while you do have to clean those. This tray comes out for easy cleaning. Just lift these two tabs up on either side. And then again, this is where it puts the water. It washes the mop pads and then it um, sucks the water out. And it also blows hot air on them to dry them. And again, there's what it looks like down in there. Again, it's not going to, it's not going to put any water inside the robot. It relies on washing the mop pads and getting them nice and wet to, to do the mopping action. And again, it doesn't self-empty. It does, there is no bag that self-empties into. Okay, so I love the app. It does a great job of mapping your house. It does a great job of obstacle avoidance, but it doesn't tell you. It just shows you a picture like that was shoes, that was me standing there, that was a cord. It does recognize it and avoids it, but it doesn't like, you can't click on it and it doesn't take a picture of it. But it does show you right where it went. So a setting that it's gonna be very important is is in robot settings, no. I think it's in the base station. Oh yeah, the base station settings. Mop washing frequency. So the default is like 10 minutes. You may want to go, this is going to be so important because it doesn't fill up the robot with water. So it has to go back to the base station to re-wet the mop pads and clean them to, to continue mopping. So five minutes, you know, but you're going to go through a lot of water. 10 minutes, I think, is the default. But that's, that's super important. So I'll tell you right now, uh, $600 for this, the Eufy X10 Pro Omni. I'll do a comparison with it, but just get the X10 Pro Omni. It's $200 more, 800 bucks. For that $200, you get so much more. You get auto empty. Auto, it had, the robot has a uh, bin inside it that fills up with water that actually mops your floor by putting water down. And oh, it uh, takes pictures of the obstacles for you to review. Okay, would I spend $600 on this robot? No. Um, I did buy it with my own money. I'm probably going to be sending it back. I thought, I just thought with a base station, you've got to be so careful. It doesn't, it doesn't auto empty. There's no bag that it auto empties everything into. Now, and this seems a little small. I mean, I, I guess it's going to work okay. It's going to remind you when to change or Dustbin empty this. Um, wow. Dustbin but there's lots of things I love about it, but Wow, the X10 Pro Omni is just the one to get. It's this this one's two hundred dollars cheaper, but you get so much more on the X10 Pro Omni. Again, no internal water tank. Now I might be wrong. I I can't. I, no, I just can't find it. And the only reason I'm questioning myself is like, let's take these off. Like, there's a port. No, you can tell it's not putting water. Like the X10 Pro Omni has a port that it puts water down. So I understand what they're doing. These mop pads they get really wet okay so when it cleans them they may be even a little bit thicker but so it's going to clean them before it starts mopping your house and that's it's going to rely on this mop pad to be really wet to go mop and then after 10 that's why that time i showed you that's the time that it's going to go mop and clean for 10 minutes and then it's going to go back i think it does a quick wash but the main thing is it's going to re-wet these and then it continues mopping now i guess i'm okay with that I mean, it's just different than what I'm used to. Um, it does a really good of uh, raising and lowering them. It does a really good job. And it's got this sensor here for sensing carpet. I thought did a good job. It does a really good job of vacuuming. It's just a little bit different than I had thought. I thought it was going to spray a little bit of water down while it mopped. Because some of them do that. But I do understand... I do kind of get this because even the ones that do spray stuff down, these are still just smearing it. So maybe it is a little bit better to go back, wash the mop pads, and then go back and continue mopping. So they're, but you can do that on the X10 Pro Omni. You can set its time that it goes back and washes these. It's just, it puts solution down. It has an internal tank, a little port that it fills the tank up inside here. This one does not do that. Now the camera on the front, it looks like it has a camera. It says it takes pictures, but I couldn't see in the app where I could see the pictures that it takes. So, 
but it, it's an excellent obstacle avoidance. Okay, on my sheet, it got an 87. Now, it probably could be a few points lower. It, it, they, don't, they don't say that it self empties. They don't say that it has a tank, but I guess I just kind of assumed that, you know, you look at this and how good a job it says it does mopping, which it does, but you just kind of figure it has a tank inside. So I didn't really give it less points because of that. But I did do the poop test, put some fake poop in front of it. It did avoid it. It has, Yuffie has really good obstacle avoidance and this is no exception. And I did put like a cap full and a half of the Eufy clean solution in the clean water tank. Again, it's only used to clean the mop pads and get them wet. You know, I just, I guess you got to really, really read these. These things can be so, so different. You know, they look all to be about the same with the same base, you know, and just, just, I was really, I was really surprised by this. So again, I'm not going to be keeping it. It's not going to be one of my vacuums. I'm not going to recommend it. You know, I might recommend it if it had self-empty and then, yeah, I don't know. I honestly thought this was just going to be like an X10 with a smaller suction and a smaller battery. Or I thought it was going to be an X10. I can't believe how different it is. Now, the tanks are bigger. I, I, the tanks on the X10 are smaller. The water, clean water and dirty water. I do like how these are bigger, but no, I, I got to have self-empty. I don't want to take this. I don't want to take this out and clean it myself or empty it out myself. So I do lots of robot vacuum cleaner reviews. Here I got the Narwhal, the Dream L10S. This is the Roborock Q Revo. They just released a brand new Q Revo. I just purchased it. So I will be comparing it to the older one. Same with the S8. They just released a brand new S8. I've got comparisons on all of these, how to do the maintenance. Here's the Dream L20, a little bit older. I got videos on it. There's the brand new X30. They just relieved, released an X40. I just bought it. So I will be comparing it with the X30. I've got lots of Roombas, lots of Tinnikos that I do reviews on. Here we've got some Shark. I've even got the brand new $1,200 Dyson robot vacuum cleaner. So I also do other reviews on all kinds of different robot vacuum cleaners, Roborock. Here's the Roomba 692, which I really do like because you can use virtual walls with it. Eufy, Eureka, Roombas, even the more expensive ones with the sensors on the front that do a good job. Shark, Detect Pro, I really love the Shark. Ultra, Matrix, the Eufy L50 is my go-to right now. $125 at Walmart, has LiDAR navigation. Very, very important for mapping your house. Just got a brand new Dirt Devil um, carpet cleaner a dust broom, and the Eufy X9 Pro. And so my pick for vacuum cleaner or robot vacuum is the Eufy X10 uh, Pro Omni, which is upstairs right now cleaning my house. And Keurig just released a brand new Keurig K-Mini Go, which I'll be doing a review on. We got a beautiful brand new espresso machine from Walmart. And we got this brand new $500 Keurig, which I'm, I, I gotta see exactly why that's $500, but I'll be doing a review on it. So be sure to check out my logo on Instagram, just to add videos. If you could go over there and hit a follow, I really would appreciate it. I'll do behind the scenes. I do free giveaways over there once in a while and on my Facebook group page. So if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to, um, if you want to let me know what products you would like to see me review, leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you could leave a thumbs up, that helps out my YouTube channel. I've got lots of exciting videos coming in the future. Here's some brand new Roomba uh, essential robot vacuum cleaners. One's with a mop, one's without. These were just released, finishing up reviews on those. I do have my very own coffee you can buy, Just A Dad Simple Sip Coffee. It's in the K-cup form, whole bean or ground coffee. You can find it at justadadcoffee.com. And again, I like to buy these with my own money. That way I can give you an honest review. And would I spend whatever they cost, would I spend that on these robots? That way I, I can just give you the most complete, honest answer. I can give you a yes or a no. I'm not held to any obligation by any manufacturer. I can say what I want. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. And Miss Fiona is just relaxing, enjoying this beautiful day.